Mga kapatid, question. What's the difference between complete and finished? Sa mga mag-asawa, sabi po nila, if you marry the right person, you are complete. If you marry the wrong person, you are finished. <laughs> Mga kapatid, last year, akala ko, I am finished na. I had an accident February 7, vehicular accident. I was thrown out of the vehicle. Nauna po yung ulo ko. And I found myself on the ground. You know, mga kapatid, I found myself at that point. If only for that, I'm very happy. You know why? I heard myself shouting at that point, Jesus, I trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Jesus, I trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Paulit, ulit po. That's all I could say. If only for that, masaya po ako. You know why? I realized that the last point of my life, ang bibig kasin ko, yung pangalan ni Jesus at si Mama Mary. Okay na yun. I'm so happy, Lord, yung palang bibig kasin ko. Kapatid, mag-isip ka nga. Ikaw kaya, Mamamatay ka na. Anong bibig kasi mo? Magmumura ka pa. Mga walang niya kayo. Yung, yung, yung Rolex ko, yung mga utang nyo. Ano kaya ang bibig kasi mo at the last point of your life? Sana, masabi mo, Lord, bahala na po kayo. Bahala na po kayo. Jesus, I trust in you. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. Mahira po mag-surrender mga tataong mayayabang. Mga mayaman, mga may kapangyarihan. Akala nila kasi everything is in their hands. Sisters and brothers, Leave everything to God's hands. You must learn that now. To say, Lord, bahala na po kayo. Meron pong kwento na isang lolo. Hirap na siya. Dumating sa hantungan na ayaw na niya talaga. Yung misis niya kasi talagang, anong gagawin ko dito? Miserable na ako. Alam niyo, sabi niya, remedyo. Nag-isip-isip siya. Sabi niya, gagawa ako ng krimen para mahuli ako. Pag nahuli ako, dadalhin ako sa kulungan. Oh, at least wala na si misis. Sold. Okay. Yun nga ho, nag-shoplifting siya, as planned, nahuli siya. Pero nung sinentensya ng judge, you are guilty, lolo, but because of your old age, we are sentencing you to perpetual house arrest. <laughs> Patay, lalong sumama. Yan po ang nangyayari kung nere natin and we don't really surrender. Sisters and brothers, I was asking, Lord, why? Bakit po ako na-aksidente? Why? Sisters and brothers, now I know why. Kasi po, kung hindi po ako na-aksidente, hindi ako nagpa-check up. Kung hindi ako nagpa-check up, hindi po nakita yung tumor on my left lung. At kung hindi nakita yung tumor, siguro ngayon, stage 3, stage 4 na, mahirap na po. There is a reason for everything that happens Marami ka siguro hindi naiintindihan na nangyayari sa buhay mo. Lord, I don't understand, but I trust in you. Sisters and brothers, please remember, 
Habasta nandiyan ang Lord, it's never finished. Oh, cancer? I went through cancer. I went surgery for chemotherapy. Mahirap po. But through it all, sabi ko, Lord, nandiyan po kayo. It's in your hands. My life is in your hands. I just trust in you, Lord. What happened? This uh, January, almost a year before the accident, my doctor, oncologist, Dr. Cornelio, texted me. I remember that January 15, Feast of St. Arnold Jensen, 6 p.m., time of Mama Mary. And the doctor said, Father Jerry, you are cancer-free, no recurrence. Thank you, God. Thank you. Because you have to learn to trust in the Lord more. So mga kapatid, let's learn now. Sana po, learn to trust the Lord more. Don't play the game of ice. Impositions. Dami kang impositions sa tao. Control. Control ka ng control ng lahat ng tao. Bagay, no? And expectations. Learn to trust God more. And I'd like to teach you a simple prayer. Paewan. Ano po yung paewan? Pray about everything. Worry about nothing. Shall we say that together? Pray. Worry. If there is anything that bothers you, you learn this, Lord, ewan. Ewanan ko na sa'yo, bahala ka na. Pinagdasal ko niyan, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. You're at peace. Ang problema mo sa'yo, you want to control everything. You cannot. Gusto mong kontrolin lahat? Hindi mo na nga makontrol yung pag-ihi mo. Kinukontrol mo pa yung mga ibang tao. Learn to trust God more. Paewan also means pray about everyone, worry about no one. Natural po, we worry about our loved ones. But you know, you can only do so much. So what do you do? Lord, itong mahal ko sa buhay, ewan, I surrender him, I surrender her to you. Ewan, ewanan ko na siya sa iyo, Panginoon. Please don't forget, the people you love are loved by God. God can love them more than you can love them. Paewan. That's one of the things you must not forget para towards the end of your life, at the end of your life, you can say, Lord, into your hands I commend my spirit. Mga kapatid, please pray. I pray for all of us two things. One, sana we live meaningful lives. The rest of my life, the best of my life. Yan po ang narealize ko when I went through near-death experience. Buhay pa ko, I'm going to live the rest of my life, the best of my life. So please, sisters and brothers, be more prayerful. Be humble. Be kind. Be joyful. Ang ganda po ng cancer. Cancer has purified a lot of things, not only physical, but emotional, spiritual. Wala na po akong bagahe, wala na po akong ambisyon sa buhay, wala akong mga hugot, wala na po akong mga expectations. I'm just grateful to be alive, and I want to inspire before I expire. Ganun na lang yun. Live until you die. And Lord will take care of everything. Basta nakakapit ka doon. I pray for you that your journey to this life will be light and bright. But you must give up in kayabangan. Sisters and brothers, please think about this. Some people are so busy making money or making a name. Why don't you just make a difference. Make a difference. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be famous. 
just make a difference because you are walking with God. Ano man pinagdadaanan mo. Mga kapatid, buhay pa tayo. May mission pa tayo. And please don't forget the Lord. The Lord is never gone. He's always with you. Learn to let go and to let God. Kung hindi ka marunong mag-let go, mag-let God, you'll get frozen. Paano ka mawawala yung pagiging frozen? Anong sabi ng kanta? Let it go. So let's sing it. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Speaking words of wisdom, let it go. Amen. At sabihin mo sa katabi mo, mag-let go ka na kasi. Let go na. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you.